What is up, Neo friends? Welcome to our next weekly video. My name is Chili, and this is Chill Quest. Let's go ahead and get into what I have been up to this week, the week of June 16th. Little pet update from this week. So Okra went to go to a new home and Belphagora got moved over from my side account to my main account. He is my Magma Zwitox and I honestly just love him so much. Loku is level 66 now. He's been training really hard in the Battle Dome for the upcoming battles that are going to happen as part of this Void Within plot. We ended up with a Mutant Belanthus from one of those original cardboard pet pets, so I'm very happy with that. And so is Chill Quest. She loves chimichangas. And Sugar now has a pile of soot that is called Help Me Eat, who is level 3. Got a little Trudy's action going on here. She continues to turn more and more gray. Your girl Trudy is rustin. She is gray rustin. She's grustin. And it is, it is troubling for everybody watching it happen. Thank you for the free money, Trudy. I love you. Hello, Coltizen. I hear the shrine can give out 1 million Neo points. That's kind of wild. Uh, Coltizen's gem. Nice bait and switch. King, loved it. Happy Father's Day. Coltizen. Hi, King. How are you today? Nothing again. He fucking hates me. Maybe it's the way I dress. Maybe it's my open-toed shoes. A little tombola action here. And check it out. We got a coincidence prize. Grumpy old king. We're going to continue to tell him the same fucking tired joke. Hey, look at that. We got another avatar. Scarl Moody is now an avatar for the Neo boards. I love it. And look, we, we got it with such a shitty joke too. 251 out of 1,000. But hey, man, avatar is an avatar. I love it. I love it. Oh. <gasps> The king! What did they do to the king? Oh my god! Look how they mess with my boy. This is wild. I don't even know. Can I even can I even cheer him up? He looks so fucking gray, y'all. I'm so sad right now. It had no effect. It had no effect. King, can you hear me? Are you out there? Double O hog, King! Double O hog for the people! Oh no. I don't even know what to think about this. This is so sad. <gasps> the whole castle is gray, y'all. The whole castle is gray. This is not a fucking drill. This is the whole castle is gray. Kayla, are you safe? Kayla's safe. Okay. Ooh. Kayla's still safe in her little potion shop, but this is insane. Let's go to Meridel. All of Meridel is gray. Oh my gosh. All of Meridel is gray. What does this mean? <gasps> what does this mean? He's gray, so I don't even know if I can make him laugh. <laughs> it says that he would have he would have given me 713 out of a thousand, but he's too gloomy. That's so fucking depressing. If I'm being completely honest, he can't even laugh at jokes. Oh, our king. Oh, and they can't wash it off in the rainbow pool. King, no. Ooh. Is that too much rainbow? Is there such thing as too much rainbow? I just don't know. Stop it. That is so perfect. I love that so much. Arrowhorn girl. I love that background. Thank you. Thank you, Norbu. This doesn't feel like the time for puzzles and games, but we persist. Has anybody tried dumping SSRIs into Kiku Lake? Maybe if we poison the water supply with happy pills, the gray will go away. Just a thought. This one is as blue as I was after I saw the king. This one is a flower like the flowers we're all going to be putting on the king's grave soon. I'm so concerned about this gray. This one is blue like the eruption of emotion that I felt when I saw our king in gray. And this one I don't have anything clever for, but it's it's the last piece. So let's get our prize. Bottle of Shinku ink. Good. I can use it to write a strongly worded letter to the void because this shit is crazy. <sighs> what is this man want? What do you want today? What do you want today? Kawinky dink. Volcanic rock, water fish, dried prunes. Okay, that doesn't seem horrible. All right, I'm ready to be heard again. What do you got for me, Kawinki and Klutari? A blue shore zooms up and whizzes past your head. Then she stops in midair and looks confused. This isn't Marindel, where are we? I don't know, we're not in fucking Kansas anymore and we're certainly not in prize land. I'm gonna leave you someday. Okay, what do you got for me today, Kawinki Dink? <gasps> Not my Blue America Gnome plushies. I might actually have all of these in my safety deposit box. Let me see. Yes, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> see a giant whalen floating in space that blows bubbles at you. Thanks. Thank you, Quinky Dink. What's gonna happen to your ad here? Let's zap this little boy. Whoa, it changed. What are you? 
What are you? Belanthus mutant. What is that? We gotta go see it. Come on. Are you serious right now? Look at you, your ad here. So this is what happens when you take a Belanthus and you paint it with a mutant pet pet paintbrush. So cute. Look at him. Look at him. Baby, you have come so far. I think it's time to zap a different pet now because I want to keep this one forever. Time that you earn your name and your name is Chimichungus. Welcome to the family, Chimichungus. Time for some buried treasure. Let's see if we can find any. Today is also the day that the Void Within plot dropped and that's really exciting. Hey, look at that. We got some buried treasure. We got 2,000 Neo points. No avatar, but that's okay. We're still happy. Perlescence is now our new lab rat, and I'm going to continue shooting her with the lab rat until she becomes something that is lab rat exclusive. I'm really hoping for burlap. It is now time for the best time of the week. It is time to pop those nerks and tokens. Let's get into this week's Reddit review, starting with this absolutely adorable baby beach day custom. This is by user Avocado Baby. Absolutely love it, especially this little floating balloon and the little swing. Very, very cute. Fantastic. This is from user Robotic Dreams, who redrew this Neo art that they did 16 years ago. Honestly, they're both fantastic. This user Love Wins is showing off what they're calling their Inevitable Void custom, and honestly, I think all of us are just waiting for the chance to be able to make one of these cosmic baddies. User Haley Marie 712 says it well, this red jub jub chair will absolutely haunt your dreams. User Clayton M22 says that they are living for these new goth summer items, and honestly, I'm just living for the fact that somebody else is appreciating Grundo as much as I do. Look at this freaking Moroccan Nemo in the bathtub. Oh my gosh. <laughs> User Super Discreet Trek says, unbothered, moisturized, happy in their lane. Another really awesome custom from user, I don't know what to do, IDKWTD, but I love it together. I love it, I love it, I love it with the pet pet and the pet 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 and the pet and just all the pets. I love it, I love it. Stop it, little little Grundo Explorer boy. Look at him go. User Denerx, D-E-N-E-R-X, you are fucking doing it. I gotta see the rest of your pets. Love the Britney Spears P.O. Fin. Love it so much. Oh my god, that quiggle makes me want to jump off a fucking bridge. I'm sorry. Future Spirit 5166, your Cosmic Grundo is giving me freaking life. Literally everything about it, the background, the hair, I just, I'm in love. Well done. And user just Adi things went through and found what the most expensive custom would look like on Jelly Neo and put it together. And I absolutely died at this user, the sign to his comment of, you'd be surprised how much it costs to look this cheap. Funny name not found brings us this great random event where the space fairy uh, dropped a fucking antique glass bookcase on their face. So great reminder. She's beauty. She's grace. She'll drop a bookcase on your face. Glamorous sneaking also told probably the best joke ever that the grumpy old king did not appreciate. Who's a sad skeef? You are. Drat. It looks like it didn't have any effect. Sometimes I sit around and I wonder what TNT was thinking when they came up with the concept for items like this bloomeru steak or this stick o mincy, which is apparently chunks of mincy on a stick roasted to perfection. These grundo sticks seriously make me want to fucking vomit. They make me so sad. Look, somebody whipped off his little ears. Are these items meant for cannibal neopets? Or is this something the humans are supposed to eat? Anyways, let me know what your favorite crazy item is in the comments. I think I say this every week, but I should have just sold those damn things. But it's more fun to open them here with you, and then we can all share a piece of sardine vinegar gum as friends. Let's rank some random events. Now, much like last week, I had to travel again this week for work, so that is going to be the theme of our tier list. Now, at the very top of this for the S tier, it is, the event is outside, but my talk is inside. Now, for some reason, the goddamn geniuses that run our company decided that we were going to do our open house, including our keynote speeches, fucking outside in the middle of the summer. It was 97 degrees. Like, you could literally feel the heat coming off of the asphalt. So... I felt very lucky when I found out that my keynote speech was going to be in one of the very few indoor conference rooms. My seats were packed. I don't even give a shit if it was just because people wanted to be in the air conditioning. I still felt very cool. The second tier down, we have fresh air and swamp ass. Now, I got to go in between being inside and outside during this event, so it was this wonderful balance between sweating my ass off outside and then going inside and having extreme relief. And it was only really uncomfortable when I was on the very two ends of the spectrum. Uh, on one hand, if I was outside for too long, I did get some wonderful swamp ass made by yours truly. Uh, but on the other side of that, when I was able to go inside, I got a little bit cold because I was 
fucking sweaty as fuck. Mid-tier is one of the most genius things I've ever seen in my career so far, and that is them setting up my robotics display and then putting fans with fucking misters right next to them. And I was like, really? Mr. Fans right next to my good Christian robots? But you know, I'm not gonna worry about them because they're insured to the company. So I told them that they needed to move my table. They moved me down a little bit, and I think that we avoided all of the issues. Next up, we have eating chocolate in 97 degree weather. Now, chocolate is wonderful, right? But it's not great in 97 degree weather. And my robotics display was of a robot that was grabbing candy bars and handing them out to people. And as you can imagine, it got really, really fucking messy. And by the end of the event, nobody wanted to eat any of those doo-doo candy bars that that poor little robot was handing out. Last at the very bottom, we have my feet hurt and I'm dying. Give me money so I can go home now. That was the underlying vibe that I was probably giving all potential customers while I was talking to them in the middle of that motherfucking sweatshop of a tent that they set up in the parking lot of our building because I don't know, why not make us look completely podunk? First up for the random events we have, the Kiku Lake team is collecting donations so that they can go to the Eltador Cup this year. You donate coffee and marshmallows, how nice. First off, fuck Kiku Lake. I hate Kiku Lake, my homies hate Kiku Lake, I will raise my children to hate Kiku Lake. These people, I swear to fucking God, if you need to go to the Altador Cup, go sell candy bars door to door like everybody else. Don't swing around with your dumb little fucking coconut bodies just snatching shit up out of people's inventories and then selling them on the fucking black market. For shame, Kiku Lake. Now you only got coffee and marshmallows for me because I've been smart enough to start padding my inventory lately with a bunch of bullshit items, knowing that the Altador Cup is coming up soon and you little fuzzy round bitches are right around the corner snatching shit up from people. But the fact that you only got a small item kind of does make me a little bit happy. So I think that we're going to put this into Mr. Fan right next to my good Christian robot. Next up on the list, we have the ghost loop appears suddenly and growls before disappearing again. You realize that all of your Neopets are now at full health. Now I gotta tell you, ghost loop, most of the time when you show up, you don't do a goddamn thing for me. So it was really wonderful to see you show up and actually pull your fucking weight for once. Not only was I on my way to the Battle Dome when that happened, but I'm pretty sure that you cleared up some mo fucking like floppy tongue or something like that that I got from Apple Bobbin because I don't I don't learn my fucking lesson. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that ghost loop and I'm gonna put it into event is outside, but my talk is inside because what a wonderful thing that you did for me that day. Thank you, ghost loop. Next up, we have a red poogle hops past and says hi. Hi. I don't know what the fuck to do with that. Um, I'm gonna put that at eating chocolate in 97 degree weather because that was just weird and fucking unnecessary. Like, I don't know why you felt the need to draw attention to yourself like that. It accomplished nothing. Just like my entire week. Loku says, I'm scared. There are so many horrible monsters out there. And you know what? You're right, Loku. And some of those monsters are the people that make you travel away from your home and your little baby puppy dogs. And you know how I feel about that? My feet hurt and I'm dying. Give me money so that I can go home. Space Fairy back up in her little nanigans again, giving out scarab bookmarks. It suddenly falls from the sky and lands on my lap. The Space Fairy must be in a good mood. I still don't know what the fuck is going on with the Space Fairy, but hey, at least this time I didn't have a hundred thousand random events of her popping up and secretly asking me for help, but not telling me where she is. Space Fairy, I appreciate that little bookmark. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in fresh air and swamp ass. You know, it's not worth that much money, but I, I do appreciate the gesture and uh, also I am a reader, so you know, sentimental value. Next up, this little walkie comes by and says, you look like you could use some luck. He hands you a lottery ticket with the following numbers, 3, 7, 12, 18, 22, 27. I hope you win. Me too, little dude, but I didn't, but uh, you know, I'll just, I'll just throw that away for you. Thanks. Can't win if you don't play, I suppose. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put that into uh, Mr. Fan right next to my good Christian robot. Uh, Cause you know, I got, I got no huge strong feelings about it one way or the other. I'm not the captain of that destiny ship. Finally, we will go ahead and cap it off with a good old tried and true. Congratulations, Chill Quest. You just found 2,137 Neo points. I'd like to point out, too, that this was the first random event that I got of the week, so this may have just been a holdover from her sending out all them cosmic messages to me, trying to tell me that there was something wrong. Uh, but, you know, Space Fairy, you need to go find yourself a white girl with a nose ring, uh, because I don't know how to interpret any of these fucking signs that you're sending me. But, you know, we do love free money in this channel, so we're going to go ahead and put that under fresh air and swamp ass. And since it is Friday, we will go ahead and spin the Wheel of Extravagance. We got a fat arm today. <gasps> wow, look at that. His health went up by five. Yay! That actually paid off. Thank you, Wheel of Extravagance. Welcome back to Kitchen Question, the segment where we cook up data and we serve it in digestible bites. 
As you may know, this segment is meant to answer life's ultimate question. Kitchen question, is it worth it? Can we work it? Can we put our battle dome thing down, flip it, and reverse it? This segment is meant to find out. For anyone who's not familiar, kitchen quests are quests that you can get from Mystery Island. You are given either three or four items to find with the shop wizard, and when you turn them in, you are gifted either neo points, items, or sometimes a stat increase. The data pool for this week was 60 total quests. I completely somehow missed a day, and I don't know how I did that. My total spend is 1,107,149 neo points for an average kitchen quest cost of 18,452 neo points. In those quests, we were rewarded 28 stats, 8 hit points, 6 attack, 4 agility, 4 levels, and 6 defense points. Our total payout for these quests was only about 40,383 neo points. Not a great week for us. With our net spend, being about 1,066,766 neo points once you compare the spend versus the payout. That means that our Battle Dome stats cost about 38,099 neo points per stat. Let's investigate which quests made me happy this week and which ones made me cry. The quest that I spent the least amount of neo points on for the best reward was pretty fucking pathetic this week. It was getting this Moroccan Chambi Secrets of the Deep book, which is worth about 9,280 neo points, and that quest cost me about 16,030 neo points. On the flip side of that, the quest that I spent the most on for the least reward, the total cost of the quest was 65,823, and the reward was a Valentine Harp, which was worth about 4,550 Neo points. That gave me a total loss on that quest of 61,273 Neo points. Brutal. The most expensive item I was asked to get was a box of dung cookies, like fucking gross, for 38,800 Neo points, and the reward from that quest was one attack point. The least expensive item requested was applets for four Neo points, and the reward given for that was a handled pottery, which was only worth one Neo point. It was kind of disappointing. For our total data pool, we have 185 quests that have been tracked. That gives us a total spend of 2,904,787 Neo points. The profit still is 673,193 Neo points, and with 70 total Battle Dome stats earned, that gives us a total of negative 9,617 for each stat. So that means that we are still net positive. We've been essentially paid 9,617 Neo points for each stat that we've accrued. With the supposed Battle Dome aspects that are going to take place during the Void Within plot, I still think that Kitchen Quest training is a good idea if you're trying to prepare for the Battle Dome. Sometimes it's about speed of training, and you can definitely get your Neopet trained faster if you're doing this, in addition to your other paid training classes. And that wraps up our week this week. I'm so excited to see what TNT puts out for this Void Within plot and when we can finally actually fucking do something with it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you got this far, give me a thumbs up so I know that you made it to the end. I hope you all have a wonderful week in Neopia, and hey, remember, if life ever gets too heavy, feel free to come on back here for another chill quest. See you guys next week.